Yeah, I have cats now. Stay for a mustachio. I got blonde hair. Barely even. See what I got? My mustache is the darkest thing on me. Well, you know, besides. Thumbnail. You think we could split that? Because mm. I'll eat probably that much. I eat yeah. no more than six ounces. But don't we have a New York strip or something here? We have so a tri tip. Yeah. I'll do this other one. I think we could split that. It will shrink. But, I mean, I'll eat. Yeah. All right, stick it this tonight. Give it a go. We'll come back and see where you're at. I should have let this out earlier. Put it out last night. You want to try and thaw the steak the day before, the night before. Um, but that's okay. Stop. Okay. It's time. What the? Oh! Uh, it's brand new. Uh. Yes, these are salmon pants. I apologize, but I'm going to the gosh dang gym, all right? <laughs> Nacho! All right, I'm trying to be freaking serious. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. A lot of you guys have been asking, where the tits you been, dude? It's a hard thing to explain, especially because I have been doing YouTube for so gosh dang long. Almost 13 years, all right? That should explain it in itself. I've gone through so many of these phases, I guess you could say, where I've kind of just like lost interest, you know what I mean? Like I've built so many other things that sometimes I just forget to focus on vidges, but when that happens, I get so gosh dang sad. And the reason why is because I love doing this the most. This right here, talking to a camera. This is I feel like this is the only thing that I can say that I'm good at, you know? I might be a jack of all trades, but I'm a master of none. I've done it all, man. I've 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 been in all these different types of YouTubers. I've tried so many different things. I've collaborated with so many different people from all different types of spectrums. The bottom line is I love y'all, man. And I reckon I've been thinking too much about what I should be doing. When you start to think too much, you start to overthink, that's when things go wrong. Nike has it right. Just do it. Don't mind if I do. This thing is dirty. It's got a new registration for the router. It makes me want to clean it because I got new tags and I don't want to put them over that mud and then fall off and then get pulled over and then they find out that I'm an outlaw and then they ask for my autograph and they basically... Oh, you know, these things are a freaking lifesaver. These Max tracks right here, but uh... I have no mounting set for them right now, so all they do is just slide around in my bed every time I hit the brakes. So I gotta find a way to mount these. Which eventually, once I put the bumper I want on here with the spare tire on the back, bam. These right on the spare tire, they'll be ready anytime I need them, baby. But like I was saying, as far as what's been going on with me, do I, am I, starting to hate this am, am i going to quit eventually you know these are things that don't ever even cross through my mind i had a bunch of friends that are youtubers call me and, and see what's going on i'm like listen man when you do it for as long as i have which is almost 14 years straight almost every single week nearly every week most of sometimes daily years i've there's a couple years that i've uploaded every single day so when you get to that point, when you've made thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of videos for people, some that have done great, some that have done horrible, it's almost like a circle, man. You know, you go up, you go down, you go up, you go down. The biggest thing to me is what I tell myself, especially this is what I've learned after doing YouTube for so long, is I do not focus on what people think. Do not focus 
on what people think. The most important thing that you can do as a YouTuber, this is not just for YouTubers, this is actually just you living your life. When you truly finally find that you don't give a flying, you know what, about what people think, you will start being a lot happier. And you know what, the, the funniest thing to me is like, the hardest thing to do in life, especially now in these times, is be happy. What, why? Yeah, I've been going to Planet Fitness the past like two years. About to go in right now, but uh, no judgments. Back home. It's time to clean this thing up. But first things first, I gotta stop looking like a city boy. Give me a second, but jays. Yep, that's more like it, dude. No, that's right. Knife collection vidge's coming soon, I promise. I think it's gonna be the next video, I promise. So make sure to make sure to subscribe, make sure to hell I uh, oh. You like dip? Good mother P. New formulation of the dip is now up live. You guys killed that 50% off the sale. It was gone in 24 hours. Y'all are crazy. If you want the new reformulated dip, which has more nicotine in it, and it lasts a little bit longer, get at it, baby. Dang it. <laughs> you know, there is just something about this truck that makes it probably the greatest daily driver I ever had. I think it has to do with the size because, you know, I'm used to driving the dually, which is up there, which I'll probably wash after this guy, but driving a dually every day, especially when the tires are as wide as the lines on the road, it makes it kind of a pain in the butt. This guy right here, one of the sickest daily drivers ever. Once I'm done cleaning this guy up right here, I'm gonna show you all a couple things I've done to it. It's like I should be in a freaking Carl's Jr. commercial. I have the meats. Oh wait, that's Arby's. And of course I put the freaking Cover King seats up in here. Well, the seat covers. We got the Mossy Oak Mountain Country, which makes it super cool. But I don't know, man. You guys got to tell me. This gray is just BS, dude. For paying as much as I paid for this truck, it shouldn't be ugly gray, dude. So I think we might need to camo that dick out as well. You guys let me know in the comments because... Uh, might do a little DIY. But this is my new Switch Pros panel right here. And uh, the biggest pain is, I don't know which buttons are which, like to turn on stuff, super easy though. But they gave me some labels. So I'm gonna put those on now so I make sure I know which lights are which. Holy, they give you freaking two different sheets of crap. All right, roof, here she goes. Ooh, they seem to be pretty heavy duty. Let's see if I can do this without screwing up. So we got roof and grill. Yeah. Man, we're so professional, dude. You should go pro. If you ain't watched Nacho Libre yet, I don't know what the tits is wrong with y'all. Go watch it or I'll stab you with my freaking K-Bar. Last one is the bumper lights. Man, I think I might do rear. Yeah, I'm gonna do rear. Tomorrow I'll probably change my mind and it'll be a pain in my rear. That's some freaking sexiness right there if I ever seen one, man. I highly 
suggest the Switch Pros and it's easier for the guys at the shop to install it because, you know, I don't do electrical, all right? Only electrical I do is put batteries in the clicker so I can watch Forge and Fire. That's my thumb, not my dick. That's what you gotta sing every time you got something as delicious as that right there. And then we're doing, we uh, doing here? we're doing redneck garlic toast. Redneck garlic toast. Butter, garlic powder, and Parmesan cheese. And, and then, then we got fat boy eating McDonald's back there. I ain't no McDonald's. You see McDonald's in the yell? Oh. What is your evidence? Oh, huh? I don't, wait, wait. That's your trash can. Tastes good, all that butter and stuff on there. Mmm. Good job, baby. Thank you. Miss Outlaw at it again. Mmm, dude, what are you doing now? This is an apple, like a apple pie from McDonald's kind of thing. <laughs> My this, heart just skipped a beat. This is what you didn't see. What? Oops. Oh. <laughs> it looks like, uh, I don't know, drugs or something. <laughs> like, yeah. Kyle, come over here and smoke this. <laughs> All right. It's a night time. The boys just left. And now I'm excited, so I'm going to go drive the truck. And show y'all these yellows. You want to come too, Lulu? It's only 10 o'clock at night. Come on. Let's go show y'all these sons of dicks, man. Nah, Bandy, you stay, bro. All right, you come too. Dude. I guess we're taking the dogs. I call them the Border Patrol. Oh! Oh! They were right my freaking kidney. All right, this right here is just the fogs. We got just the fogs right there. All right, now let's go top light bar. Oh shit, windows are dirty. Let me turn them sons of bitches on. Man, God help me that another car don't come. Let's turn the singles on. Oh yeah, baby. We real yellow now. Oh shit, I'm still zoomed all the way out. And then, well you can't see the rear lights, but lights it up pretty good out here, boy. Anyways, that concludes Outlaw Show and Tell. Good night, folks. Oh, shit, son. She got coronavirus. Oh, shit. She got coronavirus. Man, dude, this is the coronavirus gosh dang inspect vehicle right here, boy. Damn. Rock lights. Ooh. Is that a drive shaft? Shit, boy, Bluetooth. We got no Bluetooth around here. Damn. These fogs right here, though, they actually light up the road quite a bit. I like it a lot. Man. Where are all my Chevy haters at, boy? You can't admit this truck ain't sexy, dude. Oh. Listen, all I gotta say is this. If life is about finding your passion, then I know I found it. Because all I love doing is this right here. I ain't going nowhere, folks.